Okay, well, um, as you know, I'm not really good with intros, so just what's up. Um, <laughs> so, I watched this video from John X Army, uh, as of yesterday, and the things that he says, it makes sense, because when you're about to pull something off, on a massive scale, you know, and this is a historical fact, nations have done this every time when the planning something big, and especially when they're trying to censor you, um, is that they, they censor everything. Well, he goes into detail about how he thinks something huge is coming and that's why they're censoring us. Which, if you really think about it, it that makes sense. Because there's been a lot of preppers who aren't even conspiracy theorists telling us that something huge is coming. I mean, people who aren't even so-called those people, or, or the conspiracy type, um, even they know something's coming. So, clearly, we're not the only ones who, who, who see something is coming. Now, whether that's the rise of the Antichrist, whether the stage alien invasion, uh, the New World Order rising up, it beats us, we have no idea. We are kind of speculating, of course, but do we actually know? No, we don't. Um, but with this video, obviously, I'm I'm gonna link this. But uh, this 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 video right here really makes you want to think. Hmm. If yeah, I, I'm not even joking. I will name off some of the so-called conspiracy theories that the censoring 9-11 flat earth why flat earth <laughs> by anything um the the new world order thing uh agenda 21 and i can go on and on and on and on but the case being is that clearly the censoring us and it's the it's only targeted at the truth people and in even people who are really religious, they're even going after the the religious channels, mostly Christians. So it really makes you wonder, why are they going after the preppers? Why are they going after the truthers? Why are they going after people who believe in God and in Jesus Christ? But yeah, uh, not Hinduism, not Islam, not whatever the fuck there is. <laughs> so, it, it really makes you want to think, hmm, gee, I wonder, what are they really plotting here? Which, at the end of the day, we don't know. All, all we know is this, something huge is coming. We all have our ideas, well, theories, rather, uh, but, do we really know? Are any of us right? Could this be good? That could be a a big one. <laughs> Maybe it's not a bad thing. Maybe it's a good thing. But something's telling me it is a bad thing. So, if we look at the tensions with India and Pakistan, with the indictment of Netanyahu, with all the solar events, with all the volcanic eruptions even last year, and this year it's really ramping up. Um, with, I don't know, man. This is so much crap going on, even I can't keep track of all of it. Oh yeah, in including the major censorship of the truthers, the preppers, the religious people, uh, like, in, in, uh, in Christianity, uh, not the other ones. It's only that faith that's being targeted, including preppers and truthers. Why is that? It really makes you wonder now, doesn't it? But I'm not going to stretch this video to 10 some odd minutes long. Uh, all I'm saying is this. Look, if you look at the signs, I mean, they even showed us uh, with the econ I don't know, Fuck, I can't speak. The Economist magazine, where, you know, it had like the black... Um, the, ba the black background, and then it had the 2019 in white. It kind of makes you wonder, are they really planning that EMP attack? 
or are they planning a nuclear war, which I highly doubt, because they'll destroy everything for thousands of years. Um, and if you don't know what I'm referring to, I'm talking, I'm talking about the soil. Because if you detonate a nuclear bomb, or a thermal nuclear bomb, it's, yeah, so that, that heavily damages the soil, which, in return, it really contaminates the soil really badly. So, imagine if there's a global nuclear conflict. This whole planet, or flat earth, or whatever you believe in, uh, will be completely decimated. It, the soil will be so contaminated, uh, it would be worse than Chernobyl, in certain parts of, of even Chernobyl is unhabitable. So, look guys, I don't know what's coming, you don't know, who knows, maybe one of us is right, maybe none, maybe none of us are. But I do know this, the indictment of Netanyahu, to me, that's really big, shall we say. And it's really biblical, to say the least. Um, because at the end of the day, folks, if you look at everything, you know, like with all the signs and stuff, something is coming through the massive, uh, massive, massive censorship of actually the internet. It's not just YouTube. Um, of peppers see i like watching the survivalist channels because they they show you like the do's and don'ts i've, I've learned a lot uh, so if there was any shtf like s scenario i would hopefully by then i'll have all my supplies and guns but i may not so i'll need to learn how to make food or get food but yeah, they're, they're very helpful. Watch a lot of survivalist channels, a lot of the prepping channels, the truthers. Uh, just don't watch Alex Jones. He is a plant. So, at, at the end of the day, guys, it, something big is coming. What is it? It, it could be an economic crash, followed by the detonation of an EMP, maybe then stage alien invasion, then the New World Order, then the Antichrist, I, I don't know. All I know is this, all of us here, we have a really strong gut feeling in our sixth sense, if you want to call it that, it's basically telling us, something big is coming, you need, you need to prepare. Pharaoh's warning, they have given you fair warning, so... Anyways guys, I stretched this video a lo uh, long enough, if you stayed for the whole thing, well, then you're a real champ. But, uh, anyways, thank you for listening to, uh, the morning show, because I'm uh, uploading this, 8.30 a.m. EST. Uh, so, th so thank you for listening to, well, technically, the morning show. Um, thank you for supporting me, so... May God have mercy on us all, and may, uh, may God guide the true believers to his kingdom. See you guys in the next one.